I'm starting with a zero overall team, and I'll be spinning a wheel at the beginning of every season to determine how I recruit for that season until I win a national title. With 15 selections on the wheel that include only recruiting my home state, only recruiting from the five coldest states, and only recruiting the state where the best recruit is from. But first, I need to spin a wheel to determine what team I'll be rebuilding for this challenge. And this wheel consists of every Power 4 team that is below 500 that I've also yet to rebuild a College Football 25. And who is going to be lucky today? It looks like, wow, we're actually going to rebuild the worst Power 4 team right now, in my opinion, Purdue. They are are absolutely atrocious so i guess this works out perfectly now we got to see what coach tweaky's recruiting challenge is gonna be in year one and it'll be only recruit from the five smallest states all right i'm gonna have to figure out what those states are because i don't know apparently it's rhode island delaware connecticut hawaii okay new jersey maybe i mean these aren't exactly hot beds for town but at least we have five states to choose from that's the good news but obviously coach Twinkie's gonna be a recruiter so let's just go ahead and just get quarterback to tier one for our first upgrade as head coach but looking at one of the five states rhode island there's only one kid to recruit, so I guess we're going to have to try to go after Cam DiDapali. And then for Delaware, there's a lot more recruits. They actually have a four-star here. Jared McNary, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and add all these kids to the board. And then as for Connecticut, a surprising amount. Now, most of these are deal breakers, so I can only go after, like, one kid that's inside the top five out of the state, which kind of sucks. And some of these guys are Jucos, too, which is not exactly what we're shooting for. But, yeah, there's definitely a lot more options here. Kind of the same thing with Hawaii. There's actually, like, a good amount of four-stars. It's just only one of them wants to come here or is even going to consider us, which sucks. And and then, yeah, there's actually a decent amount of kids to recruit from this state, so... Definitely gonna have a lot more options to choose from, especially for New Jersey. They actually have a couple of five stars. Okay, yeah, and we actually have a level two pipeline here as well. Yeah, this is gonna be probably our most successful state for this cycle. Essentially, our entire recruiting board for this first season is kids from New Jersey, so thank goodness they are somehow the fifth smallest state, because you would not be able to tell that by the recruits that are from here. Also, Hawaii, so... The two biggest states out of the five smallest are definitely gonna be helping us out the most, so... I mean, it kind of makes sense. Recruiting strategy for this first class, though, is just spray and pray. I really don't think I'm going to win any battles, so hopefully these guys just don't get recruited very hard. Also, on top of that, I'm trying to recruit, like, one player in every single position. Running backs, a couple, receivers, a few, but obviously I don't want to recruit, like, five cornerbacks or safeties or something ridiculous like that. I'm trying to spread it across every single position because the sooner that we can have, like, a somewhat competent team, the better off we'll be because these 600 recruiting hours we're going to have are probably the most we're going to have for a while because we are going to absolutely suck this year i mean as expected week one 133 nothing against you god oh man yeah it's gonna be a lot of those i think the only thing i'm kind of hoping for is somehow we could score a point this year i don't know if it's gonna happen i'm guessing we're also gonna give up like 200 points to one of these teams it it's gonna happen it's gonna be very embarrassing but at least i have 30 coach points to use and honestly i'm not gonna waste hours scouting this year so i think i'm just gonna get quarterbacks in tier four to make sure we have somebody at that position for next season and i think next up we'll probably do offensive line since that's the most positions like most people that play at the position five right yeah that, that seems pretty logical we'll try and get that to tier four next guessing that this might be an issue that we'll start to have though our playing styles down to an f for our receiver Corey grayson the odds that this gets back up to a b minus are very slim they're basically negative so i'm not feeling too great but i mean we are in the lead for most of these guys it's just some of these battles i don't feel confident winning like right here you're seeing pit coming from behind where we're putting all of our points into this kid so i might be wasting my time with some of these four star recruits but we should definitely be able to get most of these three stars that nobody's recruiting right now on the field though for coach tweaky the boys <laughs> every week we're just getting slaughtered northwestern almost put 200 on us i'm telling you it's gonna happen eventually dude it's just not a very beautiful site right now i mean we're probably just the worst team that's ever existed on a football field that includes like any pop warner team like you probably could assemble a team of toddlers and they would be better than this i mean it's, it's just very embarrassing i don't see us even scoring a single point like that's my only goal this year can we score a point i don't think we will but i'm holding out hope losing hope on the trail though man david there's no chance i'm not gonna waste my hours same thing with ryan he's about to commit in nebraska I'm not going to waste my hours. And then same thing with Tony Kaiser. Just not going to waste my hours. Because the thing that sucks with all these battles is once we start hard selling, we don't have anything to hard sell. Except for the fact that Purdue's actually a decent academic school, which we could use. But besides that, it's just conference prestige. Obviously, championship contender is a big time one that a lot of recruits love. And ours is a D minus. And that is only to get worse. So yeah, I think from now on, I'm just going to go after three stars that nobody's recruiting. Because this four star thing, I just do not see it being successful at 
all. Besides for maybe Jared Costanzo, he's our last four star on the board, but he's about to visit Syracuse. I'm not feeling too great. I'll schedule him for a visit against Illinois, but he'll probably commit before then. Probably a battle I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna regret wasting those hours on, but I do have the lead right now, so I gotta at least give myself a chance. Things didn't go any better last week, though. Minnesota, they also put up triple digits on us, 128 to zero. I mean, basically, we'll wave the white flag before we even come out to the field, so it's pretty embarrassing right now, but Coach Tweaky's gonna get this program at the top of college football eventually. It's just gonna take some time, that's for sure. Gonna need a lot of patience from the fan base and the alumni. Finally, some good news. We got our first commit. Let's go, Coach Tweaky. Larry Early. That's a very, yeah, that's a hard name to pronounce there. Lots of whys going on, but he's gonna be our quarterback of the future. He's the only kid that we've gone after at the position. And lightsabers. We lost the kid to Syracuse. I can't say I'm surprised. I'm just upset that I wasted my stupid hours on Jared. Screw you, bro. At least when it comes to everybody else left on our board, though, there's like nobody recruiting these kids. This is probably what I should have done from the beginning, just going after three stars, knowing that I wouldn't be able to win battles since Coach Twinkie is not a great recruiter at the moment. So yeah, if we could just finish with these guys on our board and get some more kids later on in the cycle, I'd be pretty happy with the class. But unfortunately, my one wish is not coming true. We finished 0 12 and we did not score a single point, but we gave up 800 or 1800 in 12. Sorry about that. Tweaked right there for a second. So at least we did give up 2000 points, I guess. Do we hold anybody to within 100? That's my question. No, we did not. At least nobody scored 200 though. I thought for sure that was going to happen, but it actually didn't. The closest was 198 from the smart people. I don't even know if I want to waste my time looking at these stats because all these guys are horrible. Like 44 interceptions. I'm surprised he could actually throw a forward pass. Like we did not even have a positive rushing or positive rusher, I should say, for the entire season. Like we went backwards. Like there's no point because all these guys suck. We actually had some catches though. And then defensively, any interceptions? No, nobody in our team can catch. Any sacks? No, and, and no TFLs either. Oh gosh. At least I was somehow able to scrap together 10 more coach points. Let's get offensive line to tier four. And then I think next we're probably going to do, yeah, let's do secondary. Let's get that to tier one. There is some positive momentum on the trail though. We have got a lot of new commits. I think we're up to what? Like close to 10 commits, right? Yeah, we're at nine right now. We did lose a kid to USC. The only four star that was left. It's unfortunate. He's from Hawaii too. So lost the Hawaii's to USC, but everybody else that's on our board right now, I mean, nobody else really wants them. Like no other schools are creating them, but it's to our benefit. So I think we're going to finish the class relatively strong. Looking at our coaching staff though, I thought for sure I would fire both these guys, but their coaching level is actually decent. 24 and 23. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to both these guys, even though obviously we had a horrendous season. Has a lot to do with the roster though. But we just picked out three new commits. Jaquez, Jolly, uh, Frank, Scotland, Williams, he's the Amish beard, and then we got Ralph Kane. So three more Boilmakers, baby. Boiler up. Let's go all from New Jersey too. This makes sense. We lost a full start T Prestige, so we're now down to a two-star school. We got a couple of transfers. Whoa, how are these guys 59 and 65 overalls? I don't know how, because the highest overall to start the season was 12, so maybe they progressed throughout the season? I don't quite know. It's definitely bizarre, but yeah, all these guys suck, so we're not really going to be missing them. Before we hit the trail, though, we got 10 more coach points, Coach Twinkie. Let's get this bad boy secondary up to tier three, so we can now max out the weekly hours for that position. After maxing out the hours for the rest of these guys on our board, though, we only have 145 hours left. Is there anybody from these states that we can go after? No, there's only two kids that would have gotten here that are transfers. Both are two stars and one's from Texas and one's from Missouri. So looks like we are just gonna go after recruits to round at this class. So I just added like 11 more kids. If we can go 35 or 35, I'd be pretty happy. But most of these guys, I just added are all one and two star recruits. I have no idea what their development trait is. So if we don't get all these guys, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but they can't be worse than what we already have. And we got them all. Let's go. Coach Tweaky, 35 for 35. Like I said, though, these one star recruits I don't have a good feeling about, but they're better than what we have. They're better than 12 overall, so I cannot complain. So let me see some of these development traits. My expectations for these are very low because, like I said, I couldn't scout any of these guys because I just couldn't afford to waste any hours. I see some stars, though, and some impacts. Any elites? I highly doubt it, but an elite would be beautiful to see. Come on, just give me one elite. No, man, most of these are normals, especially some of these one stars that have normals. Gosh, I don't even want to look at their skill caps. It's probably so bad. Where's the class ranked at, though? Probably in the 40s, if I were to guess. Maybe the 50s because we signed a a lot of kids. Yeah, it's at 52. That's not too bad. 14 one stars though, man. Ugh, that is just not a good sight. The best kid coming in though is actually a 68. I will take that. Viliami Shin. Yeah, okay, we got some 67s too, so the team's definitely improved, but just a 30 overall? Ugh, man, it's still gross. Jackpot, bro. We just got 30 more coach points. I put the coach XP speed setting on slower, so I'm kind of surprised it's moving as fast as it has because obviously, you know, we suck, but let's just go ahead and get all these to tier one now because I don't really have a preference for the rest of these that are available to upgrade, but now it's time to figure out how we are going to recruit for the second season coach twinkie what is going to be the restriction as long as it's not the two-star recruits i will be happy and only recruit state where best recruit is from this will be very interesting please be florida 
please be California, any of those big states with a lot of humans, and it's Georgia. That's actually not too bad, Marvin Cotula. Okay, so obviously can't go after that kid, but Georgia has a lot of good players. Are we going to be able to win any of these battles? Probably not. How about three stars, though? Are there any? Yeah, there's a ton of kids. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have a lot of options. Okay, yeah, I think that we could have another decent recruiting class. If I could snag, like, maybe one four-star, I'd be happy, but I think this might be another year where we just get a bunch of three stars because, man, there is a bunch of recruits. Yeah, this is definitely the best state that we've had to recruit from so far this video. Looking at the roster, though, we're actually up to a 60. Thad Henning. Okay, so some of these guys that were 12 were all somehow developed. Like, you guys can see with that, he has three change of direction because I moved all their ratings down to one. And somehow he's a 75 already? I don't know how he pulled that off okay well i mean he's got impact development so i don't really know that's confusing i'm not gonna change anything because like i said they all started as 12 overall so i don't know what kind of witchcraft or magic that kid's involved with but whatever he did hopefully the rest of this roster can do in the future because he progressed from a 12 to up to like a how's it even possible i don't know what he did but hopefully the rest of these guys do it honestly though looking at the roster i don't really think we have any like glaring weaknesses like i said we addressed every single position decently there are still some positions that suck so i mean it's not like all perfect i think the worst position group right now is the wide receiver room so we're gonna need to get some receivers for this year because our best guys is 60 he sucks looking at the schedule though oh thank goodness we play an astronaut team okay i'm not gonna change any of this toledo i doubt that's a win our only chance of beating anybody is the fcs school let's be honest with each other the good news is we should be able to score points this year i mean that's the hope we have to play a crap ton of ranked teams though in the big 10 which is not ideal oh my gosh dude penn state's ranked first yeah there there's a lot of good teams we have to play man but at least georgia has a lot of good receivers i don't know I'm, I'm kind of scared adding some of these five stars because obviously i'm gonna be battling some sec schools so I, i'm a little hesitant there i might try and upgrade receiver to tier four on the recruiter thing so we'll see about that i'll add them for now but yeah there's a lot of options this is definitely a larger selection of recruits than the wheel spin we got last year so we got to utilize this coach twinkie but year two all starts at home against the astronauts 60 overall versus 68 like i said this is our best chance pick up our first win of the video for coach twinkie so hopefully our boys are ready for war this is encouraging we're already in enemy territory inside the 11 all right we cannot fudge this up this might be our first chance to score the video square oh run larry oh god larry's slow holy cow yeah that was not a smart idea shoot dude i only set the quarters to five minutes i gotta fix that for the rest of this video but i got sacked in the play before so i'm not feeling too optimistic i'm running a slip screen it gets blown up gosh dang it dude okay we just gotta sell for a field goal. at least we have a kicker so we should be able to make this but i was really hoping to get a touch right there it is what it is we have a lead that we've now lost shoot yeah very low scoring as i said the quarters they're fudged up it's my fault i'm gonna fix it i forgot about that oh gosh oh gosh larry i'm just gonna run he is so slow man definitely not a dull threat quarterback but we got a third seven now oh dear god r1 larry make the throw larry larry dive <laughs> let's go touchdown boiler up baby poo poo choo choo i think it's a train oh my gosh we got the ball back in their territory the defense was got like an interception okay we're about to pick up our first win just don't fudge us up tanner nothing dumps them up larry don't fumble you dirty dog all right we'll take a little slide and they've only got two timeouts i say we just run this bad boy out because honestly I i'm kind of petrified to pass our offensive line it's not great <laughs> so yeah i think i'm just gonna try and run this thing out maybe we'll pick up a first down if not i'm fine with taking a field goal with a little bit of time left but it looks like we're gonna pick up the first down anyway okay so just yeah right up the middle come on tanner don't fudge us up come on tanner just like steph curry in 2015 you got this, buddy. It's going in. It's going in. Oh, boy, boys. Yes, let's go. So there we have it. The first win of the Coach Tweaky era. Probably the only win for the rest of the season. But we got the monkey off our back, dude. We are officially not a winless coach at the moment. Let's go. And honestly, Larry wasn't horrible. Only 64. Like, this is kind of what you expect. 37 completion percentage. He's obviously going to play a lot better competition. I'm sure he's going to be running for his life the entire season. Because our offensive line's not great. Our receivers suck, too. But in his first start, he got a win. I can't complain about that. The defense, though, definitely was the reason why we won that game. I don't know why this keeps happening in my videos. Like, the score just didn't save. Like, there was an error as soon as I tried to leave the game. So, obviously, it's going to give us a force win at home. That sucks, though, man. But maybe we'll get better stats in the sim since, obviously, the quarters are going to be 15 minutes now. I don't know. Either way, it's a W. Something we have not done since. Oh, man. 43 to nothing against Toledo. Yeah, we still really suck. I mean, at least we're still scoring points this year, which is nice. You know, we're not going to get blown out by 200. But, yeah, 70 to nothing against Illinois 
middle a like these are still not scores that you hope for but we are going in the right direction that's all i care about right now for year two coach twinkie and on the trail honestly some of these four and five stars we might be able to get i'm probably gonna disappoint myself with some of these guys like there's gonna be some battles we're gonna lose but these are five star gems that we've been in the lead for from start to finish i feel like at this point i'm in too deep i gotta keep pushing for them but we should definitely be able to at least get one four star this year at the very least but every single kid that's on our board right now we are leading for and this kid's about to commit so feeling relatively confident still can't really afford to scout these guys because we just have so many open positions on the roster right now but i think maybe next year or the year after i start scouting at quarterback though larry oh, i feel bad man two touchdowns that interceptions yeah this is, this is pretty bad to look at but what do you expect dude he's only 64 overall the good news is one of those five star gems is actually a quarterback so if we can somehow manage to pull that kid in he'll be our quarterback for the future hands down because larry he is not nearly as good as that kid is we just got our first commit though jojo demania from jojo let's go left tackle could never have enough of the big boys and we're still in first place for some of these kids like earl marquise bro please can we just close can we just close oh my gosh man we could honestly get all these kids and i think the future of the program would look about as bright as like a 23 job street movie like that movie would not whiff it would be an absolute bang so hopefully we can have one of those and of course not i just get punched in the nutsack oh my goodness dude we were in the lead for all three of these kids right before they committed and what happened i don't even know it's literally almost unfathomable that we lost all three of them when we were in the lead form right before they committed like the odds of that are so slim and of course it happened in year two when we desperately needed two five-star gems and then a four-star receiver like that would have helped us out so much dude at least we got neil so like i said we got at least one four star but bro there's no way it just it depresses me so much man it really does so i added some three stars down here the class it's not nearly going to be as good as it should have been but there's still plenty of kids from georgia that we can go after which is nice but we definitely should have gotten at least one of those three kids man things on the field really haven't gotten any better like we got destroyed by ohio state 59 nothing so we have yet to score a single touchdown since week three against the froggies that is not great if we can end the season with one more touchdown i'd be happy but yeah this whole recruiting nutsack punch just really depresses me man i'm in a very sad mood right now coach twinkie and this just adds to it this kid went on a visit week 13 it was on a bye week he wanted playing time i think and like we went down in interest somehow i don't know it's a disaster right now with some of these battles bro we might as well tap out as soon as i see another school like i swear if alabama comes back and gets this kid dude i'm waving the white flag like at this point we might just be cursed or it's just because we suck so much i really don't know but we picked up a boatload of new commits so it's not the end of the world but this class it should be in a way better spot than it is right now man like at least we have two four-star recruits this year but you guys know those three kids we lost bro really just ugh, it just it's like a, it's like getting shoved a shiv in your heart as a vampire or wait no it's that wood thingy i think they call it like a steak or something not the food like a wood steak in the heart that's how you kill a vampire just tips and tricks by the way if you ever encounter one unsurprisingly though we finished one and eleven and yeah this is not great but it is progress so i can't really like be upset with it really just hoping to see that we scored at least one more touchdown to end the season yeah we did the offense actually like turned things around after that oregon game like i asked like seven points seven point seventeen against penn state that was a high score three and then the last game of the year against three nine indiana our arrival we scores zero man shoot feel bad for larry but he actually threw touchdowns so i i can't be that upset the kid i like his chain i don't think it's a chain i think it's just the uh the jersey outline but yeah 35 completion percentage like at least we ran the ball forward this year like that's the good news good job amish beard and that receiver sam honestly wasn't horrible only a 58 overall you guys know receivers a huge position of need we've been addressing that on the trail and then defensively we actually got sacks this year any interceptions oh come on maybe next year man maybe next year yes we actually got him oh i thought the kid was for sure gonna become an elephant let's go antoine harris and then we got juan okay anybody dude commit miss right now let's go yeah keep it rolling baby cakes i cannot get enough of this beautiful screen one more nope that was it shoot and that little committing spree just got coach twinkie some more points yeah we gotta get receivers to tier three wish i would have had that for those two recruits man those two receivers definitely think i could have gotten that five star gem if i had that maxed out but then again that five star quarterback we had this maxed out we still couldn't get him so i don't know oh man we got a transfer dalton all right well i'm not even gonna try actually i should i got two convinces i might as well he's not coming back though all right graduates boys there's actually some okay play they're all 65s bro like we can recruit better players than that oh we actually didn't lose a star in team prestige bro i am shocked by that i thought for sure we would so we're still a two-star program all right i will take that sucks i don't have any hours to use for the portal though although i'll admit there's probably nobody that wants to come here out of the portal from georgia illinois alabama florida ohio yeah there's nobody bro all these guys suck too there's no point of going after a bunch of two-star 
star transfers. So just going to go after all these guys that are three stars from Georgia. Although it looks like we're probably going to lose a few of them. Why is Notre Dame? Oh man, I don't like seeing these big time schools going after these kids, man. We got the vampire piggies go after Taj. That's not cool. So definitely don't expect to get all these kids, but I think I'm going to try and do what I did last year. Add some two stars and some one stars and try and send them some scholarships because I want to try and get 35 because we still need all the humans we can get because half our roster still has basically no arms or legs. They're 12 overalls in this game. They have one speed. They can't do anything. So we'll take all these guys we can possibly get. Kind of prepared myself for this, although it doesn't make it hurt any less. We lost that kid to the Catholics. We lost a kid to Louisville and then a kid to Jackson say This kid just didn't commit anywhere. So I don't know if he's like walking on or joining a cult or something or becoming an Amish person. I have no clue. We actually did get that kid though that the vampire piggies were battling for. So we actually did win one battle, which is good news. All right, let's see some good development traits. Please, please, please. This four stars got impact, got normal. That sucks. There's a lot of normals. I don't like that. Any elites this year? Last year, we did not have a single one this year. There are so many normal development traits. Oh my God, it's blinding. Yeah, that is so bad. There are so many normals, man. Yikes. Where's the class rank? Probably a little bit higher because those two four stars. Yeah, it's actually 36th. I will take that. Although most of the development traits you guys just saw are so bad, man. And the highest ranked recruit is actually Neil. His development trait though is normal so not feeling too optimistic about his future he's a 74 overall though probably our quarterback for next year but who's the next highest overall true freshman it goes all the way down to a 68 who man didn't we have a receiver that was a four star oh my goodness he's only a 66 shoot yeah we definitely whiff there swing in a huge miss on a training time though and it's impossible for you guys to get worse so let me see some progression sam's actually up to a 78 76 connor feeney okay this is progress a couple of kids i redshirted have gone up okay definitely very encouraged by this now the unfortunate part is these guys probably are going to be close to getting skill capped out because most of these guys development traits even in the first recruiting class were not great so we got to start emphasizing getting gems from now on man because i feel like the base of the roster is decent 73 overall and we got to start getting some guys that are going to develop into actual like big 10 quality players because most of these guys are just not it this should help though we got 20 more coach points let's get this to tier two let's get this to tier two and then i think we're gonna try let's max out receivers let's just do that and then we'll upgrade we'll do defensive line we'll get that to tier three for coach twinkie time to give the good old wheel a nice spinneroo for year three just please no two stars that would really set us behind i just need to get some gems oh yeah let's go hot time baby only recruit five warm estates hawaii we might have to recruit hawaii again i gotta look this up because obviously i'm not geographically sound oh Dude, we might hit a Yahtzee, Florida, Hawaii, Louisiana, Texas, and Georgia. Oh, yeah. This is where we start to go eight, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's go, man. We hit a freaking yes, Yahtzee. All these states that we just got are hotbeds for talent, bro. There's so many good players in Florida. Now, most of them don't want to come here. Don't blame them. But, like, Texas, too. Holy smokes, dude. And Georgia, I know for sure, is loaded to the gill because we literally just recruited from there last year. And then Louisiana, I might not even touch Hawaii, dude. There's got to be some sort of correlation between hotness in recruits there has to be because like there's so many good players yeah this is why the sec has a monopoly over college football dude all the best recruits play in hot states they probably play like year round oh it's all starting to make sense clearly got to have the best recruiting class of the video with all those states we can recruit from coach twinkie but looking at quarterback i'm gonna start neil i need to start winning some games i'm just gonna redshirt larry and looking at our best position group i think it's probably the offensive line which is kind of bizarre to say because typically this is the hardest one to recruit but we were pretty early on to imagine max out this position on the recruiting trail so i guess it makes sense holy smokes we have way too many right tackles yikes gonna need to get some more receivers though once again and then i don't know how offensive lines a team need all right i'm just gonna overlook that and then defensively so there's not really much so yes this is the point of the video where we start emphasizing talent and gems we need to go after gems we need some good development traits man none of this normal crap anymore but look at the big 10 is there any teams that we could just nip in the butt like maybe they have a bad week maybe the entire team's got an illness or something maybe there's some drama some locker room issues somebody's girlfriend did something very naughty do we have any chance it's probably gonna be northwestern or indiana at least we play indiana every single season so it's probably our best chance to pick up a big 10 win this year coach twinkie i think it's like week six now and we are in the lead for some of these kids that are about to commit am i about to get my heart broken absolutely but it's a feeling i'm used to so not really gonna be surprised if we do not get any of these guys although yeah dude we're in such a big lead there's no way we don't at least get timmy and enrique but some of these five stars up here like justice who's a four-star gem 
them. And then Rico will probably lose to Georgia. But dude, we're at least going to get two really good players. So feeling pretty good about the trail. And on the field, we beat a Big Ten team. Let's go. We beat Riverside and we beat Rutgers. Let's go. First Big Ten win of the video, Coach Tweaky. Yeah. I mean, we got destroyed by USC in North Carolina. But who cares, dude? We got our first Big Ten win against Rutgers. Let's go defense. Only get up seven. And now this week, we are on the road against the Huskies of Washington. They're only an 83. This is another team where, I mean, we could possibly nip them in the butt. There's a chance, boys. And we are not playing the way I'd hoped. At least the game's still close, but they are in the red zone. We're down six. Sorry, defense. You were really good against Rutgers. Right now, you're not doing your best. Tackle, please. Oh, my. Ew. Yeah. Oh, no, dude. This one might be over already. We're down 23 now. Yikes. Square. Touchdown. I couldn't even get it out. Oh, man. Yeah, we might be at the point of the game where we just queue up the sad music. Let's get some Vance Joy going and let's just get out of here. Hopefully with our more. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is bad, man. Can't really be upset, though, because we already won one Big Ten game this year, and I did not expect Ooh. that. Oh, my God. Our offensive line is getting obliterated, dude. The only thing we can do now is just hope to the heavens that something good happens. Uh, R1? Maybe? Oh, no. Yeah, it's gonna get picked off. Well, yeah, th th this game is certainly over, that's for sure. I think it's just one of those situations where you just blame it on human emotion and human feelings and stuff like that, because, you know, last week we won our first Big Ten game of the video, so obviously the boys were doing things they shouldn't have, and the focus just wasn't there. I mean, they ran for 260 yards on the ground. Ugh, man, good grief. But Testicle Tuesday, we just got a five stuff from... J oh, yeah, I thought he was going to Georgia. Rico, yeah, man, you will not regret that, buddy. And then we got this four-star Enrique. Let's go, gem, baby. Okay, we are definitely going to lose this four-star gem, though, to Georgia. Kind of figured that would happen, but hey, we might go six for seven with these guys. Let's go, dude. Okay, so now we have enough hours left over. This is where we start to try and find some three-star gems. So hopefully we can find some of those. George is not one of them, but yeah, we are going to be doing a crap ton of scouting now, but hopefully some of these guys are actually gems, so I don't waste all my hours every single week, dude. Shoot! Yeah, did not find a single one after scouting four kids, so, so far, the hit rate on this is 0%. Not great. Well, shoot, dude, we haven't won since. Oh, man, we got destroyed by Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns, 55-17. to 17. Oh, Man, that's bad. I mean, at least it was close against Northwestern, but still, man. Definitely think that Louisiana game was winnable, and clearly it was not even close, so I guess it wasn't winnable. I don't really know. This is pretty sad. This is it, though. On the trail, we got everybody except for this kid, but that was kind of expected. As soon as Georgia started to push really hard for him. Colton, though, he's taking a sweet time to commit. He already came on a visit here. And he didn't really like it, so my optimism is really going down the gutter. We'll see if we can close with this kid, but I'm not feeling too great. I was able to find a crap ton of gems, though, so as long as we can close with all these kids, I think this could easily be the best class of the video, so we'll see, but I'm still trying to find some more gems, because 15 or 14, I don't think that's nearly enough. Playing Illinois this week at home. They're 2-4 and four in the Big Ten. I mean, what's their overall? It's probably like low 80s, right? Oh, no. They're at 85. Yeah, I don't think we have any chance of winning this game, but hopefully we can keep it close. And we did not do that. My God. Lost by 32, bro? Ugh, man. And this Colton kid still has a committed, bro. He's so close. I think he's gonna go on that visit to Georgia Tech soon, and he's gonna commit there. That's my guess. And I'm gonna get very sad. So, hopefully, Colton, you can prove me wrong, man. And he did! Thank you, Colton, you sexy beast. Let's go, dude. Alright, so we got him committed, and that that was about it, because all these guys, we have not been able to put them any hours into, because I've been scouting so much, but yeah, only 15 guys right now. Hopefully, I can find some more three-star gems, but feeling pretty pessimistic about that. Can't lie. And to end the season, we got absolutely boat raced by Ohio State <laughs> 63 to 17. At least it was close against Indiana, but that would have been an awesome game to win, but that did not happen. So, at quarterback for us this year, Neil, ugh, man, 23 interceptions. I wish this was flipped, but yeah, he threw the ball to the other team far too often yikes. And then our running back, Amish Beard, Frank, he got hurt. That's unfortunate. So, Neil was our leading rusher besides him. That is not good. Receiver, though, I mean, it's not great. We don't have good players right now. Like, I don't really have high expectations for the stats. I'm just glad that we actually won a Big Ten game this year. Vi, though, he had five sacks. Did we get an interception for once? No. Still waiting for that. Not gonna be wasting any time, though, these coach points. Yeah, let's just do running backs in tier three. Same with linebackers. So, we only need 15 more points to get this recruiter maxed out. Time to see who's leaving though once again we did not lose a star in t prestige let's go there's like nobody leaving i was kind of worried about transfers because we suck so much or playing style went down but apparently it did not
not happen. So let's go, dude. We're losing like a no one. And we picked up a crap ton of new commits during bowl season. Let's go. How many new guys? I think four. Yeah. Okay. So we're up to 11. No, 10 commits right now. And we should be able to get the rest of these guys pretty easily. Yeah. SMU's kind of sneaking up on us right here. But I think that we're going to seal the deal. Not that worried about that. Transfer portal, though. I doubt there's anybody of value. And there actually is. But both these kids are from states that we can't recruit from. So I guess I'll go ahead and just try and find some three stars from the states that we can recruit from. As long as they're not bust, we'll recruit them. We're going to change things up since obviously we're a little bit more desperate now. And we ended up getting every single kid that we went after. Some of these guys, I didn't really scout because I didn't have enough hours. So I guess it's kind of just a shot in the dark. But I mean, all in all, we definitely have the most gems we've gotten this entire video. So I can't really be upset with that. Plus, we got obviously that five star. We got some four stars too. He's got elite development. Rico, yeah. I don't swing that way, man. But man, do I love you. Let's go. Some impact star. These are all good development traits, dude. We hit some. Uh, yeah. Come on, give me another elite. Give me another elite. I'm not going to get one, am I? Dang it. It's a top 25 class, though. Trending in the right direction. Let's go, dude. That Rico kid. I'm going to guess he's like a 78. It'd be nice if he was like an 83. Like, that would make me jump for joy. It'd be like the first time I saw Santa Claus. Oh, yep. He's 79. It's not an 83, but still happy with that because he could have been like a 76. And that really would have made me sad. Who's the next highest overall? 76? I'll take that. Let's go, Kai. Gotta spin the wheel for a fourth time here. Coach Tweaky. I just crossed up my fingers for no two stars. So far, it's been so good. Oh, my God. Then it happens. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, that is a uh, shot to the heart. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. Look at the team for this season. It's the best of the video. 84 offense. They actually ain't half bad. Our best player, Fanao Choi from Hawaii. All right, so we got a Hawaii ship here. Maka McCracken is also <laughs> what a name. McCracken. <laughs> Another kid from Hawaii is our third best player. So, yeah, the team is still really young. And, yeah, future is definitely a lot brighter than the present. That's for sure. At quarterback, though, Neil, I feel bad because his, his skill caps can't be great. Yeah, he's already maxed out as a quarterback. There's just nothing here for Neil. We might need to try and find another quarterback for a future. But then again, we got two quarterback gems last year. Dell was a gem and so was Jamal. So, maybe one of those two guys will be good. I guess we'll find out. But defensively, you guys just saw our linebackers are great with Connor. And then we also got Maka McCracken. And then we got Carmelo over here. Yeah, there's a lot of good Hawaiians that we found at linebacker. Ended up maxing out linebackers and defensive line, though, for Coach Twinkie. I had 10 coach points. I think I just left ready. Yeah, running back. That's fine. Because we got Colton last year. He's a really good player for the future. The strategy for the trail this year, though, is obviously only two-star gems. Cannot afford a regular two-stars or bust. That is obvious. So we're going to be doing a crap ton of scouting. I can scout from any state. So I'll probably go in Indiana and states like that, like our pipeline. But there's really no team needs. So we can kind of go crazy. Crazy, but we're only going crazy after two stars. So yeah, kind of like going to a wedding thinking you're going to tear the place up like Fat Albert and then you find out they're freaking serving sushi, dude. So you're SOL kind of like us with this non-conference schedule, dude. Why are we playing? No. Oh, no. Oh, man. We play so many ranked teams this year. Oh, man. And we're definitely not easing our way into the season either. We got to play Wisconsin at home. Number two team in the country. Ugh. Two star gems exist, right? I just scouted 31 kids and not a single one is a gem. How is that even possible? Maybe gems for two stars don't exist but busts do because this kid gabriel's a bust i am confused i don't know maybe the game is just trying to shaft me well it's obviously working so i'm gonna keep scouting but yeah i just scouted 31 and i didn't get a single gem that's bad that is really bad man ended up finally finding one after like scouting like 50 guys dude so finally there is something more rare than a five-star gem it's a two-star gem apparently but we got him committed every other person though no gems none at all so this entire recruiting class is like the biggest mystery in the world i have no clue how good any of these guys are not the slightest idea obviously the scouting stuff like that's cool but all i care about is their skill caps man because we just need guys that are in develop bro like we don't need a bunch of guys that are gonna be like a 75 their entire career so i don't i don't know this might just be a recruiting class but i encourage like most of these kids to transfer hopefully there's a few guys that can help us out this video but i'm not feeling too great about that as for things on the field oh we got destroyed by wisconsin oh dude we almost beat washington that would have been our first ranked win of the video. At least we spanked the Riverside Royals. So, yeah, we're actually showing some positive strides in the right direction. I mean, this is a really important game, though. Man, we still got to play so many good teams, dude. If we could just end the season with, like, three or four wins, that's obviously more than we've had the entire video. So, I'd be happy with that. Playing Illinois this week, though, I think I'm going to play our last game of the season against our rival, Indiana. On the road, I feel like this is a winnable game. And it was! Let's go! We won by 10! 
Man, oh, the offense putting up some points. Okay, Neil, you freaking stud muffin, dude. He almost threw for 500 yards. Oh, my goodness. All right, Neil, yeah. I mean, we ran the ball really well, too. Hoo-hoo, we're starting to cook with some gasoline, baby. Lost to count the trail, though, but honestly, I have negative idea if this kid's good or not, so I don't even know if it's, like, a bad loss. Honestly, I'm gonna try and sign, like, 20-ish two-star recruits. I want this recruiting class to be small, dude, because I just have no idea how good any of these kids are with their development traits so if we could send like 20 kids i'd be happy with that because i'm gonna end up probably encouraging most of these kids to transfer anyway this was like the worst possible recruiting class wheel spin selection we could have gotten for this season man but at least we won't have it for the rest of the video that's the only bright side and coach Twinkie ended up getting every single two-star to commit besides some kid that went to mississippi state i think carlos petty or petty and then the rest of these guys just defensive ends because apparently we need some more of those but i doubt these guys are good bro i have no idea this kind of sucks i did not realize recruiting two-star recruits is such a pain in the butt i guess that's why i don't do it my goodness man how did we end the season though we're up to an 84 overall i like that oh we actually beat missouri we lost to ucl oh my goodness look at all these close losses man we beat penn state lost to iowa by two minnesota by eight we lost to umass by 39 last week woof what happened coach twinkie did the entire team leave their cleats in the locker room i did that once in middle school it was a big big mistake i ended up having to play with somebody else's cleats but yeah it worked out in the end we ended up losing the game so i guess it didn't really work out but either way i got myself 10 coach points so let's get running game to tier four so everything's maxed up for a recruiter i think next up we're gonna go motivator for obvious reasons we need to develop some players man especially all these two stars we're gonna have coming in soon but if we can end the season beating our rival indiana we will make our first bowl game of the video we haven't beaten them at all we've played them close a few times in a row so cautiously optimistic here i'm feeling decent and we got a lead let's go all right do not fudge us up pretty sure this kid's name is neil his last name is Duggar. I'm feeling good. X on the seam. I can throw that. Oh my gosh, they got launched to Portugal. Man, what the heck was that? And they're saying we got to punt this. Honestly, our kicker's not bad. I think we could probably make this. Yeah, 52. Our kicker's not horrible. I think this could go in potentially. I just got to make sure I have the kick of my life, which is very possible. I think this is going to go in. I do. Yes, it is. Why did they tell me not to kick that? That was weird. Shoot. They answer with a touchdown of their own. Looks like this might be an offensive slugfest. All right, come on. Somebody get open. X. No. Neil. Neil run. Neil fast. Neil big. And he's strong. Good job, buddy. He drank his whole milk this morning. Let's go. Woo. I can feel it, boys. It's in the air. It smells beautiful. Come on. We're up 17. Fourth and four. GG's right here. Mano e mano. We have better players than they do. We have big. Okay, well, I guess not. The 84 guy is very good because 50, he couldn't cover him if he had a rocket ship strapped to his back. My goodness, that was horrible coverage. It's going to be fourth down. That was kind of a weird play call right there. They're actually going to kick this? Okay, I can live with this. I'm pretty happy with that. But honestly, we should have gotten a stop on that fourth down. That was just horrible man coverage right there by our middle linebacker. And yeah, the southpaw nails it. So we're still at 14 in the fourth quarter. Like, I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, what's going on with his eyes, bro? That's freaky deaky. Oh, man. If aliens look like that and there's ever an innovation, GG's in the chat. I give up. I, I, I'll tap out, man. Oh, goodness. That was disgusting to look at. All right, we're, we're in their territory and squares touchdown. Neil, make the... That's GG's. Boy, let's go! Neil, man. He's dropping dimes out here like Rambo. Let's go. My goodness dude an offensive explosion especially through the air man i feel bad for neil this is why i always emphasize the development traits like the skill caps that stuff matters so much in this game like this kid he's a 79 he's gonna be a 79 for the rest of his career bro he's literally tapped out he could literally stay in the dining hall not go to practice at all and he wouldn't get worse but he also couldn't get better if he was practicing during all those times while he's eating all those cupcakes bro like it just doesn't make a difference so that's why i'm trying to get those gems but neil you have been awesome for us this season dude so we're now officially bull eligible let's go oh my gosh what a season man 33 and 12 no wonder we made a bull game dude let's go i mean we ran the ball wow okay the offense was popping off we had a thousand yard receiver oh okay and then defensively not nearly as awesome stats wise my goodness we did not get after the quarterback at all we actually got interceptions though for once four for dominic three for glennon and three for robert let's go finally lost our bull game virginity and we get rewarded with playing the best team that did not make the playoff kansas okay this is actually a pretty exciting matchup man we get a chance to pick a ranked win to end the season this is going a lot better than i expected we're three to nothing already all right neil do what you've done all season bro that is throw dimes circle r1 oh goodness 
this. Oh, he actually got it out. Dang it. Now it's third and 10. Kind of a crappy situation square. I'm throwing it. I think that's going to get open. Bro. No, man, he launched it to the moon, bro. Accurate pass right there, Mr. Neal. And that is a touchdown, man. That sucks. All right, well, at least we're up six. That's the good news. Talk about a 180, dude. Yikes. We're down 15 now. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what's going to get open. Just hope that it's something. Circle. Uh, I don't really. Okay, I'm just going to throw our one. That's what the heck. Wow. <laughs> witness oh my god he saw it makes that throw but he couldn't make the throw for that touchdown the previous possession i just played <laughs> oh let's go oh gosh hate to say it this is probably for the game right here fourth and nine down eight i'm gonna need something x on the seam no i get sacked dude like come on block for tanner dude yeah this game's probably over and it was so we lose the independence bowl by eight shoot man this could have been a really good win for us but we actually earned a half star in team prestige for that season i don't know how that's deserving but hey i cannot complain i also can't complain about this we only have two guys leaving oh shoot i need to get a kicker i gotta get on that stat and we found one but of course he's not a gem because two-star gem recruits are about as rare as cinderella's glass slipper dude it's literally just like impossible i still cannot get over this these development trades are gonna just depress me oh my gosh they're all normal bro like oh my goodness gracious what about that one gem we got he's a star but i scouted close to 60 at least two stars that might be underselling it and i only found one gem oh wait this defensive event has impact all right well that's nice yeah this class is just an absolute dud bro that wheel spin shafted us it's gotta be one of the worst classes in the country yeah it's at 190 19, yuck. And the best recruits probably what? Like a 64 probably? Something like that? 68 maybe if we're lucky? Yeah, it's probably gonna be around a 64. Yeah, it's a 64. Freaking kicker. And then that right guard's a 63. We'll be lucky if there's like a couple of kids that could start for us in the future. This recruiting clause. Ugh! Just a complete wash, man. Please, Mr. Wheel, make up for it somehow, man. Come on. I need some luck. Give me a good one. Give me the five biggest states. I feel like that would be really good. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, pipeline states. That's not that bad. Bad. I mean, Purdue's got some decent pipelines in here, I think. Yeah, they actually do. They got Louisiana Tier 2, New Jersey Tier 2, Texas. Yeah, they got a lot of states. Georgia's Tier 1? Okay, yeah. This is probably got to be our second or first best recruiting class of the video, although there are a crap ton of deal breakers. Coach Prestige, Proximity to Home, also Pro Potential. It's all pretty bad, so yeah. We don't have any options, which is kind of a good thing because we don't have that many four and five stars to go after. We can go balls to the walls for just about every single one of these guys. But I've got 15 coach points. I'm not wasting time. Let's get that motor Motivator unlocked, and then I think we're gonna do quarterback first, but we gotta get that to tier one. That is gonna be the next step for us, but we are up to an 84 overall. It's not too bad, not too bad. I see some yes, Nolan Becker, Rico. Let's go. Some of those redshirt freshmen that we recruited a couple years ago, Enrique. Yep, yep, yep. I like seeing that. And I don't like seeing this. Neil, I feel bad, bro. 79 overall. I mean, can he at least improve his abilities? It doesn't really look like he has. He doesn't have any purple, so kind of sad. As long as he does as good as the data last year, that was a 79. I'll be pretty happy, but we definitely might need to find a quarterback for the future defensively though our corners are kind of filthy rico's here we got this robert kid taste shot i mean there's not great depth here but we don't really need it because none of these guys are exactly draft eligible so we may need a couple just for numbers but yeah all these guys are pretty dang solid it's probably your best position group and looking at the schedule for this year why are we playing oh miss the non-con shoot hey we gotta play oregon who's number one of the country appalachian state okay well definitely another challenging schedule not gonna be easy at all what Whatsoever, but if we could just make another bowl game, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. And I think that this team definitely has the potential to do so. But so far, ball sack. Lost by four. Oh, man, those are just two games. Like, where are we opening the season? I don't know, okay? At least we beat the Riverside Royals. That's the good news. But yeah, we're one and two to start the year, bro. If you're playing two top 10 teams. As for the trail so far, I'm pretty happy. I think I'm gonna lose one of these battles, though. I saw Ohio State sneak it up on us. I'm not looking for it. Yeah, this kid, he's gonna go to Ohio State. He's from Ohio, too. I'm gonna hold out hope and try and push for him. But it's really hard to hard sell and soft sell right now as a program because our championship contender is like a D plus. Like, some of these grades we have are just so bad bad or pro potential is a d so biggest thing is just setting the house and crossing my fingers and praying that's really all i'm doing right now so hopefully we can at least get joe it looks like we're in the lead there this week though on the road against the car boys they're actually pretty decent overall so kind of scared but if we're gonna make a bull game this year we're gonna have to upset some people and hopefully this is the first one yeah baby so far so good on that already up seven art deal i mean we played both those top 10 teams pretty close so it's not like we're like some sort of scrub or anything triangle and he dropped it shoot gonna go to a little slip screen now 
now. Kind of scared about getting sacked. Hopefully this works. Oh, triangle. It is going to work. That's a first down. Let's go, baby. Boiler up. Got it inside the five now. I think I'm just going to try and run this in. Yeah, I don't want to have to pass because I'm not very specialized at that. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, boys. He got a 14-point lead, man. Oh, now it's 21. Dude, what is ha? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't complain. All right, Neil, get out of there. Get out of Dodge. Can we just run with Neil? Yeah, block for Neil. End zone time. Neil Duggar. Oh. I've tried running it at back-to-back -back plays. I'm doing it again. We're literally on top of the goal line. Come on, boys. Just block it. There we go. Three times the charm, dude. Oh, my gosh. So, we're up, what, 28 at the half? Whew. I am astonished right now. Perplexed. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say, man. This is awesome. I think would be the best way to describe it. Oh, yeah. Sack him. It's GG's, bro. <laughs> 35 to nothing in the fourth. They ended up scoring a few garbage points. So only one by 21, but still. This is a very encouraging performance for the rest of the season. I'm glad that Coach Tweak had the boys prepared because this was a must-win game. Oh, no. You gotta be joking. Oh, my good. Yeah. Okay. So we're probably gonna lose this kid. Dude, why? Where did these schools come from? You guys see these huge jumps? This is the kind of crap I talk about, bro. Oh, no. Because, like, the only one that went on a visit was Bobby to Syracuse. Week five. Okay, yeah. The good news is we're still probably getting most of these guys, but dude, I was hoping to get all of them, man. We're probably gonna go like five for eight or like six for eight, the absolute best. Unfortunately, it was four for eight. We had LSU come from like, I just, it's so frustrating, man. They Both these kids were right in their backyard. So, I mean, it makes sense, but they weren't even recruiting them in the beginning, bro. We were pushing hard. Coach Tweaky was putting all the hours with this kid. I mean, he got to know the kid's janitor at a school for crying out loud. So yeah, we missed out on three five stars and then a four star gem. So this class could have been so schmexy but still we did end up landing a five-star tight end from ohio so it's not all lost and then we got three four-star gems and then we got a three-star gem as well so the rest of this class is really just going to be a bunch of three-star gems that we're going to try and find that is how things are going on the trail what about on the field oh man we had a win streak going dude oh uh, we've lost the last two so we were four and two and then we got yeah we got clobbered by michigan state and ohio state kind of trending in a negative direction there huh coach twinkie let's get this quarterbacks to tier three let's get that working playing illinois this week though at home i hate to say it probably a must win game if we want to make a bowl game so come on boys oh you just gotta commit charlie donahue it's gotta be a good sign right come on and it was let's go 42 to 20 the offense came alive like frankenstein all right let me see yeah you know pretty solid i mean that interception kind of sucks but that completion percentage 30 to 35 85 percent that is insane good job neil more summertime sadness dude i don't even know whatever i'm not even i'm just gonna pretend i'm not even looking at that and then oh my god the raging cajuns bro again they're not even the raging cajuns that's louisiana but you know what i mean the cajuns do it again that's why i get for trying to recruit out of their backyard bro so i mean the good news is the rest of these guys we should be able to lang because they're just three-star gems but maybe this drew kid will be a battle we'll see but this is the class right now only eight commits but every single kid is a gem except for this paris kid so i feel like the hit rate in this class is gonna be really sticking high and on the field we actually won out besides the ucla game we beat penn state First time this video would be Indiana again. Let's go. So we're seven and five. Yeah, this is the best record of the video. And no surprise, Neil. Oh my goodness. A 79 overall doing this. That is wow. I am astonished. We also ran the ball really well. Vernon Augustine's at 88 as a registered sophomore. That kid's gonna be a dude. And then at receiver, yeah, man. Just a lot of guys getting a lot of catches. This team is developing really nicely on that offensive side of the ball. The defensively, we just do knock it out for the passer like at all, and we don't really get any interceptions. So, kind of a problem on that side of the ball. I mean, our most TFLs was six, dude. Yikes. Oh, what the heck? How are we playing 11th ranked floor? Dude, again, we're playing like a really high ranked team that somehow didn't make the playoff. Oh, it's the Cheez-Its Bowl, too. That's kind of fun. I love Cheez-Its. Shoot, this is not going well at all. They're a really high overall team. I don't know why we got this matchup, but I guess it is what it is. We just need to try and make the best out of the situation at hand. Please tackle him. There we go. Okay, I'll take a TFL. Let's get an interception right here. Throw a pick. Throw a pick. Okay, that's fine. Tackle them inbounds. Okay, so yeah, they're going to take this field goal, but we're still going to be down 10. I think our only chance to win this game was to get off to a hot start, and that clearly has not happened. So I'm not feeling too great in the outlook for the rest of this game. Hey, you know what? We're actually hanging in there, and it's because the defense, which is very surprising. Neil has really struggled. Hopefully we can... Yeah, circle. That should be open. Please catch that. Let's go. That's good uh, completion. Got to make sure we get seven down here, though. That is a non-negotiable. Let's give it to our only star on the offensive side of the football. Come on, get around. Run fast. Oh, good fight yes okay we're hanging in there but not really anymore fourth and seven down 12 i don't know what the issues been with our kicking game today but I, I think that's just one of the many problems x r1 i think i could throw that no that's not even oh my 
gosh, yeah, that was stupid. Gosh dang it, man. So we lose another bowl game. Kind of wish we could have gotten matched up with like a Mac team or something, but obviously that did not happen. But I mean, we only lost by 15. It wasn't too bad. Let's go. We got another half star T prestige. Just keep making bowl games and they just keep giving us stars. All right. And graduates wise, we are losing some pretty. Oh no, we're losing McCracken. No, I'm going to miss you, lad. Also, Jack is jolly, but you guys could see it, bro. We're losing like no one, dude. This team was incredibly young. These are some of the players that were in our first recruiting class, though. So nostalgia, it's kind of hitting hard right now, man. Not going to lie. During bowl season, though, we actually picked up a few new commits. Let's go. Okay. Happy with that. What about that kid that was battling Miami of Ohio? Oh, it's Northern Illinois. Okay, there's going to be some battles down here for a few of these guys, but I think we should be able to get all 15. Are there any transfers we can go after for what's bad? Please. There is a few. I think I'm only going to go after the freshmen, though. Some of these juniors, I just don't see, like, a future for them on the team because they're going to be seniors and they probably won't play for us. So I'm going to go after both these transfers that are freshmen. And I think I'm going to try and find some more three-star gems. I doubt I'll be able to find many, but if I can find like a couple more and we can close there, like this class could really come together at the end. We can get close to 20 commits. Well, that certainly didn't happen. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know what happened to those transfers. I thought it added them to our board. Okay, this is really weird. Maybe I'm, yeah, I think I might be losing my marbles, bro. We also, dude, like, uh, come on. We lost a punter and then, oh my God, LSU again, dude. So definitely not the end of the recruiting class I was hoping for. So it's only 17 guys. And I still don't know why I did not go after those transfers. I literally added them to our board. I, I'm so confused. But that five-star is start development. We were staying in Paris. Let's go, buddy, tight end. And I'm hoping to see some other good ones. Yes, elite for Joe. Come on, give me another elite. Give me another one, please. I see a lot of stars at impacts though. That is good. Yes, Roberto. Let's go. Anybody else? No, but there's a lot of stars, man. And that is exactly what we needed. It's probably not ranked the highest class because we only signed 17 kids. 32nd though. I can, yeah, I, I can live with that. I still am very confused about what happened to the transfers though. I could have sworn I added them to my board. I guess not. Heck yeah, Paris. Let's go. He's a 79 overall. Yeah, this kid's gonna be a stud for us at tight end. Who's the next highest? Probably that gem or elite development trait outside linebacker, I'm guessing. Oh, yikes. No, it's not. It falls all the way down to 75. Okay, well, at least it's two big boys. Sergio and then Caleb Shelley. It's weightlifted season, boys. Who has been working hard? Lamelo's our best player. Let's go. Conrad's up here. It's the 87 overall team. Highest of the video. Year by year, we are getting better and better in that red shirt sophomore class that we signed like three years ago is really turning into some of our best players, which is kind of expected because that's been our best class of the video by far. But yeah, man, I am pretty happy with what I'm seeing progress wise. Like we should definitely be able to maybe sneak into the top 25 this year. We'll see. But I do have 10 coach points. And I think I'm going to go secondary next because the safeties are always hard to develop so we'll try and get that to tier three what is coach tweaky gonna get on the wheel spin for this year though hopefully something decent because we need another good recruiting class to make sure this oh yikes only recruit five cold estates oh no alaska north dakota minnesota wyoming and montana dude that is so bad the complete opposite of the hottest so yeah there definitely is a correlation between good high school recruits and the weather oh no this is really bad hopefully there's like some freak five star from alaska or maybe some ripped lumberjack from montana but highly doubt it this is threat level midnight at its finest there's only two kids out of wyoming that we can recruit and then going to minnesota there's by far the most but the biggest issue is the other three states. Alaska, there's no high school prospects. North Dakota, there's no high school prospects. And then Montana, there's no ripped lumberjack. So three out of the five states don't even have a kid that we can recruit from. So it's only a 16-man board. Yeah, this is very dark. I'm gonna have to cross my fingers for a crap ton of gems, but most of these kids are two stars, man, so I'm not feeling too great. This should cheer up Coach Tweaky, though. The team's up to an 88 now. Let's go, Neil. Still a 79. I do think the outlook of the quarterback room looks a lot brighter though drew's actually a 74 the true freshman who was only a three-star recruit so he might be really good for the future as well as dell but yeah we don't have like a five-star waiting but we have plenty of three-star gems that hopefully can develop like all we need is one of these kids to take the reins because neil has been really good for us and then defensively it's definitely the strength of the team i mean our linebackers are crazy we got carmelo conrad steven our corners are really good our safeties are decent like there's not really many weaknesses on the defense except for defensive line depth it's not great here but i really feel 
feel like we're doing a great job developing our players right now. I feel like we're kind of, you know, we're squeezing every ounce of potential we possibly can. And that's what we got to do, Coach Twinkie. Looking at the rest of the Big Ten, though, I mean, Rutgers is an 85. We're a higher overall than them. Yeah, we're a higher overall than Ohio State. Okay, I'm telling you, bro, if we could end the season ranked, that would make me a very happy Bumblebee. So, can we do that? I think it's possible. Will it happen, though? That's another question. I guess we'll find out. This doesn't help, though, dude. Why are we playing Ford and Ole Miss in the night conference, dude? It's literally like a death wish. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, honestly, our Big Ten schedule is not that scary, though. We only play two ranked teams. So, if there was a year to finish ranked, it would probably be this year. But we got to somehow win one of these two games against Florida and Ole Miss. At least both games are at home. And we did play Florida last year in the bowl game. We didn't lose, though. Jeez, it's bull. So, hopefully, this is our chance for revenge. We can come out here and pick up a huge top 10 win. Our first ranked win of the video, I think. Not the start we were hoping for. I think that's pretty obvious. We need to try and get a top. Oh, my God. Ooh. Both of our... What happened, dude? Our right guard and our right tackle got shedded instantly, dude. What the heck was that? I know these SEC boys are big and mean and very powerful, but, like, come on, dude. Put up some sort of fight. Oh, my gosh, it's happening again. Yeah, I don't know how the CPU's moving the ball, bro. What the heck? I think our only chance this game is Neil having, like, a contagious virus or something that the defensive line doesn't want any part of. Oh, my gosh, yeah, I got shedded again. We're just gonna kick this field goal, man. Hopefully, I don't have to play that much offense for this game because, clearly, I'm not gonna be able to move the ball. So, hopefully, the CPU can score for me because I'm having all the problems in the world. And they have! Let's go! We're up 11! Yeah! All right! You do not want to get on the bad side of Coach Twinkie. I think we are witnessing why firsthand. He's a pissed-off panther. Come on, tackle! There we go. Okay, it's gonna be third and, like, two or three. And this is a really good chance to hold to a field goal right here, boys. All right, let's play aggressive. Bring in the safeties down. They might want to run the ball. They are not throw a pick. Throw or a touchdown. Shoot. Oh, come on, man. This is intense. Okay, at least we're not in offense. That's the good news. But, yeah, we're at five. Just no touchdowns. Really as simple as that. Come on, throw a pick. No, it's open, isn't it? Shoot, dude. I really don't want to lose like this. Come on, defense. Let's get some pass rush. Let's get some pass rush like they have against us. Let's go. What a play. Oh, no. And then they get a freaking first down. Please, 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 please. Yes, yes. Another sack. Let's go. Pass committing shading over top. The end zone is our best friend. Tackle, please. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Let's go. Perfect. Playing the sticks. Pass committing once again. Come on, defensive line. Keep barking at him. How? Wolf time. Wolf time. Wolf time. Tackle. Three, two, one, zero. No, shoot. Okay, last play of the game. Come on, guys. Whoever makes a play. Coach Twinkie will make a special. You gotta be joking. We're gonna. Wow. Dude, if only this guy was a few inches taller or he actually got off the ground and he jumped. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is such a tight window. I cannot believe. Wow, we just lost like that, dude. Frick. What a way to respond, though. We're five and one. All right. Dude, I mean, we've had some close games. Illinois was close. So was Ole Miss. But man, minor setback for a major comeback. Let's go, Coach Twinkie. Got the boys rallied. Let's go. And on the trailer, it's not really any news. I mean, I got every. Every single kid I possibly could that was a two, three, or four star crew. At least this four star from Minnesota is actually a gem, but he's a tight end. We don't really need that position right now. There's actually a decent amount of gems I was able to find. Both those kids from Wyoming were both three star gems, so that was very helpful, but I'm pretty sure they were both tight ends. Yeah, we have four tight ends committed. Oh my gosh, the balance of the class right now is so bad, man. I just went after every single person that was at least a two star and crossed my fingers. There's literally nobody else I can go after at this point, so this is the class, and I'm just gonna be wasting all these hours for the rest of the season, which depresses me. Playing Iowa this week at home, they're four and two, but one and two in the Big Ten. We can probably afford like one more loss, but I don't know if it's to Iowa. Would much rather it be against like a ranked team or something. Yes, we won by three. Let's go. Okay, yeah. So like if we lose to USC or Michigan, like that's fine. I still think we'll make the playoff, but if we end the season with three losses, I think that we'd be flirting with fire. So I mean, I really hope we end the season strong. We still got to play two and six and one and six teams. So there's definitely very very winnable games left in our schedule. Just got to make sure that we go two and one between Nebraska, Michigan, and USC to close out the season. And we did not. We went one and two. Gosh, dang it. We got destroyed by Nebraska. Yeah, the playoff, man. The first time of the video, it was right there, Coach Twinkie. We just we just let it slip, man. Eminem would not be proud, but at least I have 10 coach points. We'll do secondary to tier three, and then I think next we're going to work on offensive line. Try and get that to tier three stats. Stats for the season, though, Neil, once again, the best 79 overall you'll ever see in your life. This kid was the same overall since he was like a sophomore. <laughs> But he's always been so good. 35 and 13. I'm definitely going to miss his production at the position. But hopefully we have quarterbacks with way higher potential in the future. Vernon, though, didn't really run the ball that well.
well. Colton's been pretty good. We have really good running backs for the future, which is nice. That receiver, yeah, we actually had a thousand yard receiver. Good job, Alex Cadu. We got some really good young players still, man. Like, I'm encouraged for our future. Just making a playoff push this year would have been really, really encouraging. But Junior, we actually got double digit sacks for once. Let's go from Hawaii. And then most of the receptions was Glenn Beckman, Caucasian DB. So this has to be our highest finish in the Big Ten this video, right? We actually, yeah, dude, we had a fourth place tie for second place. And we were the worst of the four team tie, if that makes sense. It's pretty unfortunate, not gonna lie. Still the most successful season of the video. And maybe now we can actually win our first bowl game. Yes, we're going to Vegas. Let's go. We got to keep an eye on Coach Twinkie, though. He is quite a rascal. So let's make sure that he is not doing anything illegal because that is definitely within the realm of possibility. Things are going pretty well. I was kind of worried about her focus to start, but we are taking care of business. Up eight. Let's see if I can get something go. Ooh. God, dude, our offensive line is atrocious, man. Got sacked again, so it's third Lewis and Clark. Not feeling good. I'm just going to throw a slip screen and take our field goal. I, I just cannot move the ball against the CPU on here, man. Oh my gosh. We might not even be in field goal range anymore. No, we're not. Okay, I'm kicking this. I don't care. 55 yarder. Our kick only has 66 power. The odds this goes in are very, very slim, but they are not impossible. Come on, squeeze in there. Oh, dang it, dude. That's so bad. Thank goodness it doesn't matter. We're actually 19 late. Oh, yeah, we're all gonna blow this up. That's me. Give me the bit. What the? Ah, bad. What did I? Okay, then. I am just refusing to acknowledge what I just witnessed with my own eyes. Oh, my goodness. That was abysmal, bro. We had him for a stop. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea. Circle's a touchdown, though, I think. Yep, yak it in the end zone. Come on, baby. Let's go. So now I'm just going to milk this thing out. It should be GG's in the chat, really. I, I shouldn't be passing this, but I got confidence in Neil, bro. He's a, like a three-year starter at touchdown. It's for sure GG's now. Let's go. So we win the SRDS Las Vegas Bowl. You already know what Coach Tweaky's going to be jamming out to the entire night. Poker face, baby. Maybe that Lady Gaga, the entire team, is going to be a nice disco party and stuff like that. Wish I could go, but I'm not exactly in the video game, which is kind of a good thing, because that Free Guy movie is kind of freaky. Yeah, let's go. Another half star team prestige. We just keep moving up the ladder. Let's go. But guys leaving the program, sad day, because most of these guys were cornerstones. So yeah, definitely kind of emotional, that's for sure. And Coach Twinkie easily gets embarrassed, especially when it comes to crying in public. So yeah, kind of a weird situation going on here. But yeah, there's nobody getting drafted, which is kind of confusing, because but now, usually 88 overall does get drafted, so I don't know what's going on there. But the odds that there are transfers that are actually from Alaska, Montana, any of those states that you guys already know about are literally, I think it's so slim, it's just not, it's not gonna happen, man. Minnesota's our best chance. I'm just gonna go to Wyoming. I'm not even gonna waste my time with North Dakota. I know there's gonna be no one there. There's nobody out of Wyoming. I'll go to North Dakota, I guess. But there's no one here, bro, so yeah. There's nothing we can really do except just hold on for dear life with these 15 recruits. So this is the haul, and please let me see, yeah! Yes, this kid, dude, our tight ends are gonna be filthy for the future. He's got elite development. I needed to see a couple more of these because there's only 15 kids. Dude, this kid only has normal star impact. Any elites? There's so many normals. Uh Yikes. At least there's a couple of two stars that have impact development, but this class is just a disaster, man. We were just shafted as soon as the wheel spin landed on us. So where are we at in hundreds? Yeah, 106. Ugh. And no surprise, the best recruit is Greg, but he's only 72. Yeah, this was like the worst possible recruiting class that we could have had, man. Like, why did we have to spit on that wheel? There's like 10 selections left and we got that one of all things. Shoot, man. I need to get way luckier this time around, bro. Cannot emphasize that enough. Let me get the four or five stars one. I feel like that one could really help us out right now it's only recruit three stars that is like oh wait no it went to another one did it only recruit okay i thought it was for sure gonna be that but it kind of kept going all right so only recruit state my best players from please be one of those hot states we had earlier on please be one of those hot states we had earlier on please be one of those hot states georgia vernon i love you yes come on all right that that, that rejuvenates coach twinkie that gets the juices flowing baby but you guys can see the team it's only an 87 we went down bro i mean it's what happens man when you have those crappy recruiting classes but the good news is like most of this team's redshirt juniors so as long as we can convince everybody to come back for another season i think the team next year could be really stinking good but we have to have a really good class this year on the trail there's no ifs ands or buts about it man at quarterback though i don't really know what to do to be honest because all these guys have impact development and their skill caps aren't great so i think just starting the best player here is going to be the decision even though he's two years older than javier and drew but i looked at all their skill caps they're all basically the same so there's not really any upside with any of these 
guys. So we'll just start the best quarterback, Dell. And it's got to help them that our running backs are the best players on their team with Vernon and then also Colton. Our defense is really good too. It's just our offense. That quarterback's not great in our offensive line. It's eh, it's not great right now. I mean, honestly, our tight end room is probably the best position group for the future, but that's because we have like 20 tight ends. So clearly not a position that we need to recruit this cycle. That's for sure. We are going to need to recruit some running backs though. That's fairly obvious. Offensive line and then defensively. Oh dear God, like everything, especially corner and safety. Oh man, this is very brutal. Please tell me George has got some dudes, bro. It definitely should and this state actually is a pipeline for us. Oh, there's only one deal breaker. Let's go. No five stars though, which is unfortunate, but we got to try and get as many of these four stars as possible. But as I said, we are up to a three and a half star program in our championship contenders at A minus. So we should be able to win more of these recruiting battles, Coach Twinkie. There's no excuses this cycle, man. Plus we're actually ranked in the preseason top 10. I definitely think we're overrated though. I mean, we're in a line. Oh, 87. Okay. We're the same overall as Ohio State. I mean, if we can make the playoff this year, I would be astounded. I think last year was our best chance though with Neil. He was really good at quarterback, but like we're a higher overall than Miami and Clemson. So there's definitely a chance, but this would depress the happiest person in the world. We missed out on all three kids, bro. I literally scheduled two of them for visits. They literally just visited us and they didn't need whatever. I can't even be upset. They're SEC schools, man. I just thought I'd be able to win those battles, but at least we're in the lead for everybody else. Now my optimism is pretty low because I'm sure we're gonna get shafted with some of these kids because that's just how it is. But all in all, I mean, I'd be pretty happy if we could just land all these guys that are on our board. I just don't think it's gonna happen. On the field though, ooh, we had a close game with FIU and then we got, ooh, okay. Well, okay. The good news is ever since USC, we've kind of figured things out, beat Rutgers. We haven't really beaten anybody good this season though. I guess it's definitely too early to tell, but we're still ranked inside the top 10, so I can't really be upset with that. And I've got 10 coach points, so not going to waste any time here. Offensive line, is that a tier three? Let's go, dude. Slowly but surely, we're going to try and get all of these to that tier three. But Dell is kind of struggling. 12 and six. I mean, it's early on. Maybe he'll get better with more reps and stuff, but this is not what I was hoping to see. I mean, he's throwing for a lot of yards. It's just too many interceptions, and his completion percentage isn't great. But like I said, it's his first time start. Hopefully, he'll get better throughout the season. Playing Minnesota this week on the road. They're three. 3 to 1. 0 and 1 in the Big Ten, though. So maybe they are the beneficiary of a crappy schedule. I certainly hope so. Please win, guys. And we did! Let's go! 1 by 21. Okay, me lucky. How did I? Uh, yep, that's what I'm talking about, Dell. Just keep steady progression throughout the season. You might be a redshirt junior. You've been in the system for four years, but you are definitely not that experienced. But this is awesome to see you, dude. Good job, Dell. And on the trail, we just got our first commit. Rashad Keenan. Let's go. Four star quarterback. Are, are we trailing for any of these kids? We are not. Please just let me get all these guys that are left on our board, man. And I can start scouting and try and find some more three-star gems from Jaoja. But man, just let me get all these kids and I will somewhat be happy because we already lost those three. That made me very sad. And we lost another one. Cordell Mohammed. He is going to the Catholics, unfortunately. But every other guy that we've got after, we have been able to land. And honestly, I couldn't really find them any three-star gems. So kind of sad, but at least these guys aren't bust. So hopefully some of their development traits are decent. I'm really concerned about running back though. The best running back I could find is a bunch of three stars and that is a huge team need. So we'll see how things shake out. On the field though, we keep killing it. I mean, we did lose to Michigan, which is kind of sad, but we're still ranked inside the top five with two losses. We had a close win with Washington and Illinois, but we are squeaking by. And now this week we have got a huge game at home against Ohio State who actually sucks this year. So I think if we lose this, we might be screwed. So yeah, we got to win out the rest of the season to make the playoff. Oh no, we're already down seven. Shoot. Come on guys. We need some. Oh, yep. Yeah, step up right here. Let's go. Touchdown. Good job, Dale. I was going to say we need some urgency, but we definitely do right here. I'm right committing up the middle. I think it's a run all the way. The CPU loves to run the ball to goal line. I was right. Tackle him. Yep. Let's go. TFL. That's a huge, huge play. And we stopped him again on second down. So we got a third and goal. We need to hold him to three here. Have to because the offense is clearly struggling right now. Playing man to man coverage. It's another run. No. Dang it. Oh, gosh. Chances are dwindling. Okay. We need to stop here, defense. Down seven. I'm run committing on this first play because it's obviously going to be a run. Yep, there we go, tackle. Okay, because if they get one first down, we're definitely screwed. Honestly, I think they might run the ball again right here, but I'm not going to run commit. Yep, that's a run. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, no, no way. Oh, wow, that's a first down, really? So they're just going to kneel it out. And we just got upset by four and six Ohio State. Now five and six. Dang it, man. Uh, I don't even know who to blame. I don't know how they scored 31 points with only 289 yards of offense. Did we just throw some picks? Yeah, we had two turnovers, two interceptions from Dell. Certainly was one of his worst games of the season. 
Could not have come at a worse time. That sucks so much, dude. Hopefully, we can still sneak into the playoff, but we got to win out now, man. Dang it. At least we did that. Only had to beat Indiana, who sucks. So, finished 9-3. We're still ranked inside the top 12, but as you guys saw last year with Florida, who was ranked 11th, they did not make the playoff. So, I'm not feeling to see. Oh, we'll play Florida again. Okay, well, we'll see if that continues because these conference championship games have yet to be played. Stats-wise this year, though, oh, Dell throwing the ball to the other team way too much. Hopefully, next year, he makes a step in the right direction but yeah first year starting was not the best rushing the ball really wasn't great either even though both of our running backs are awesome but vernon got hurt so that's unfortunate and then receiving wise yikes like everybody got like 400 receiving yards so a lot of spread here and then defensively a lot of sacks again good job zach tony 11 and a half seven and a half for steven and then interceptions wise we had four guys get a couple of them there we go the offense was actually like close to top 15 ish and then defensively we were top 10 ish so i mean it kind of makes sense we were some what playoff team i mean we are a contender right now we're projected to make it we'll see if that holds true though i really hope it does dude i want to lose my playoff virginity for once and we will let's go eight nine matchup against ucla did we play them in the regular season i don't recall we did not okay this is gonna be fun then well maybe not we're kind of getting popped right now we're down 11 Frick. All right. Um, someone get open for the love of everything. Make this easy for me. Dell, run. Dell, fast boy from Netherland. Come on, baby. Usually hang out with Peter Pan. Nope. Didn't get it. But we're going to get it right here. Going to the quarterback draw. Come on, Dale. Fly. Lift off. Or not. Just bounce around. That works too. Let's go. Oh, no. Late in the game. Fourth and forever. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to motion out the running back right here. Colton, let's get him out and open in the empty formation now. Triangle. There it is. Perfect. Yep. Catch it. Nope. He drops it. Okay, that might be GG's. At least we have all three timeouts, but bro. Oh, no, man. We're going to lose our first playoff appearance, dude. On the phone. We stopped the three plays in a row, and they missed the field goal. Whoa, okay. Well, I was going to show that, but I didn't realize he missed it till now. Okay, I'm kind of confused by that. X? We, do, we might have a chance. No. no. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, am I crazy for thinking there's enough separation right here? Yeah, I was just thrown way behind. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was a horrendous throw. If he throws it out here to the sideline, that's for sure a catch. Well, dang it, man. I guess that's Dell sucking. Oh, come on, dude. You might as well chop off a limb. What? No, don't transfer. Come on, Paris. You were the prize possession last year's recruiting class. Come on, buddy. No, he's gone. Wow, that's really bad. I don't know what happened with the playing style because that kid is now an 86 overall. Or he was two years ago's recruiting class, not last year's. So sorry about that. And then, yeah, that's really bad. We need to both those guys back for next year. Oh, man, we might be screwed. And then Vernon's off. Yeah, we are losing a lot of talent, especially top end guys. But like I said, our best recruits were all in that redshirt junior class. That's why convincing Rico to come back would have been huge. And Paris, I don't even know, man. This makes me so sad. So does this. I lost two kids to Mount Mama during bowl seat okay well that yeah yep that also depresses me all right can there be anybody out of the portal from georgia please come on man i'm desperate give me like a four star nope he's from illinois he's from illinois he's from indiana and he's from arkansas shoot well i guess we're just gonna recruit any kids from georgia that have yet to be recruited i think that's gonna be the whole game plan right now because i'm just i got nothing else to go after wait a minute we actually found another gem daryl let's go okay i also picked up a punter because we had like a 59 overall there so this is the class for this year all i care about is these development traits please tell me i got lucky there's a normal okay come on give me some stars and impacts i see one star okay oh elite let's go daryl that was an awesome pickup bro signing day steal for coach twinkie and there's a lot of normals this is bad man there's some impacts though which is nice where's the class rank probably in the 30s because we got some oh actually i think it's one of the highest ranked classes of the video maybe the highest inside the top 25 and highest ranked kid is that quarterback rashad he could be our qb for the future i guess we'll see 75 there's actually a couple of 75s i saw yeah there are there's four or five of them okay i will definitely take that and a couple of them are quarterback that's helpful so is this 10 coach points not gonna waste any time i think i'm just gonna get all these to tier one next yeah i don't really have like a preference for any of these getting them to tier three so i'll just go ahead and get all the tier one eventually really could use a good spin right here though please give me something good oh it looks like we're gonna get the four and five stars one okay this could either go really badly or really well i'm gonna need to build out the science guy this thing dude i need some million iq decisions here eventually look at the squad for 
this year, though, I'd say it's probably the best of the video. I mean, we got all these red shirt seniors there at the top, which is kind of how it should be. So I'm pretty encouraged by that. This is definitely our best chance to win a national championship. Now, will we? Who the heck knows? It's going to be mostly up to Dell, who's actually up to an 82. So he's progressing. And then we got some decent quarterbacks down here. So the future of this room looks a lot better than it did a few years ago. So very encouraged by that. I think Dell's going to take a big jump this year. If he does, I think we could take off. And then defensively, we got some really good linebackers. Joe, who's only a sophomore. We got Conrad Sr. And then we got Steven Asper, 87. The only thing that we really need is corner. It's very bad. It, it's, it's a really dire situation here, man. We're going to need to get some more of those this cycle. That's for sure. As well as a quarterback, a running back, and not really much on offense and defense. This is where we got to recruit our absolute nuts off. Oh my goodness. Four corners. Yeah, there's a lot of love. We need to try and get like a really big recruiting class with a lot of four stars. This is why I got to try and build out the science guy this thing, man. I don't think I can afford to go after a boatload of five stars especially since none of them are even interested in coming here i could just go after like all 35 four stars like that could be like every single commit but that uh, i feel like that's a little risky too at the same time because i kind of do need like a couple of instant impact dudes like some five star gems i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i guess we'll find out but once again we're preseason ranked in the top 10 let's go we're actually better than a few of these teams too okay i mean it all depends how we do on the field obviously because overall in this game doesn't really matter matter that much it's all about the clutch gene and we have a boatload of seniors so i mean they've played some big games hopefully their clutch gene's pretty good we are gonna definitely need that for this season we're off to a pretty good start in the trail though. the first kid to commit committed to us bobby busby it's a nice name right there bobby boy and the rest of these guys we are the lead for so feeling relatively decent i think we're gonna lose at least a couple battles as you guys can see we are trailing for a few guys but all in all this is going a lot better than i thought it would i can't lie same thing on the field we can't lose now granted I haven't played the best competition i'll be the first one to admit you know you got the pandas yukon and appalachian state but that has definitely changed its day on the road against michigan state it's a night game too oh man this is usually where coach tweaky and the boys flourish so i would not want to be a spartan fan right now i think we're about to spank them and so far we are on the yellow brick road path it's looking like it's gonna happen i think this corner rounds can get open here x yep i'm throwing it Come on. Oh, it's so inaccurate, dude. Horrendous throw, Dell. Please tell me you're not going to mess up the slip screen right here, bro. You better than that. R1, please, for the love of everything. Yes. Nope. Nobody blocks the one guy that needs to be blocked. Great. So I got to sell for a stupid field goal, dude. Shoot. Just make sure I don't shank this. That's all that matters. Just make sure it goes in, Tanner, and it does. All right. So got a seven-point lead in the second quarter. That is now up to 17. And we got a fourth and five. They're going for it. They're getting desperate. All right. Pass commit. Play the sticks. Come on, boys. I'm feeling good. The defense is playing out of their minds right now, dude. This is awesome. Awesome. Oh, that's open. Shoot. Well, that did not go to plan. And they're actually going to settle for a field goal this drive, which I don't really understand. They haven't had much success against our defense. The one time they get down their territory, they're going to settle for a field goal. Interesting decision there, but maybe it was the right one. Oh my gosh. Are they really about to come back and make this interesting? They already have. We're only up six. What the chopsticks happened? Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. They're, they're big strong mean ferocious triangle oh gosh that's so bad dude should never play action in this game it is an absolute death sentence oh my goodness gracious it's like getting sent to the lethal injection chair i think that's where people go oh no dude again i'm just gonna run please thank you Dell. oh i love you bro he broke that sacker off oh, it's a line it's so bad man i picked up a first down though so now we just need to get one more and it should be ggs yep cut it inside yep it's ggs now let's go man okay boys finally gonna win and a few weeks later on the trail we only lost two kids marvin and then bryson i kind of knew about marvin bryson though it's kind of an unfortunate loss but i'm gonna focus about what we got and that is a lot of kids we actually got this five-star quarterback from right in our backyard south bend indiana actually i think it's notre dame's backyard the catholics but still Purdue's in indiana you guys know what i mean there and we also get this five-star jet from louisiana i forgot about this kid Ooh. LSU's gotta be pissed off. That's what they get for stealing all those recruits early on in the video. But yeah, this is by far the best class. It's it's not even close, dude. It's gotta be top five right now. Yeah, it's number four. And there's some five stars that were not being recruited for some reason. And I think most of them were gems, if I remember. Yeah, there's two five-star gems that nobody's gone after, but now they're starting to. So still have plenty of recruiting battles on our hands. But yeah, this is by far gonna be the best class of the video. It's not even close. As for things on the field... 
Oh, we can't lose! Let's go! Whoa, wait, I mean, I thought there was a chance, because like I said, this is a very veteran Leighton team. Usually that matters a lot in Sim, especially at the quarterback position. But it's not like we've played a bunch of hillbillies and hobos. Like, Ohio State's 7-2, they're ranked. Oregon's 7-2, they're ranked. Nebraska's 7-2, they're ranked. We still gotta play Penn State, but bro, we could finish undefeated, because Northwestern's 1-8, Indiana's 1-8. I gotta see Dell's stats, because I'm guessing he's been absolutely exemplary. And he has 24-4. and Oh, he actually had high javier play a little bit it's a little bizarre yeah it's been pretty good on offense dude dell has definitely taken like the cape on his back it's been like you know superman type stuff he's been really good we'll see if we can win this week though against penn state and we did oh we might have it this might be a championship i did not i i thought we'd make the playoff for sure and i thought there was a chance that we could make a run but Natty is definitely in our future, man. We've already beaten four ranked teams. And yeah, this is just impressive. I, I am really astonished. I did not expect this at all, but that's what happens when you have an old team, man, I guess. So we got to try and win out, though. Northwestern, the smart people, and then Indiana for, I don't know what that trophy is, but it looks cool. And we ended up winning it 37 to 30. We actually had a really close game with the smart people, but I mean, we're undefeated in the regular season. If you would have told me that in the preseason, I would have called you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So yeah, I'm definitely content right now, Coach Tweaky. Let's go. No surprise, we got 10 coach points. So we can get running backs to tier one and then receivers to tier one for Motivator. Looking at the stats for the season, though, Dell was just really efficient. He didn't have like a Heisman type season, but we didn't really need that, obviously. I mean, we didn't really run the ball that well with Colton, who's a 92 overall. I don't understand how that makes any sense. Receivers, Patrick's hurt right now, which is very unfortunate for our future championship hopes. But yeah, there's definitely plenty of pass catchers, especially your tight ends. They are very, very good. And then defensively, not double digit sacks this year, but Steven was close. And then interception. Enrique with three. I don't really know how we went undefeated. These stats are, especially offensively, how in the heck did we finish with an undefeated record? I mean, we did have a top 10 offense, and we did not have a top 10 defense. Her, huh. Yeah, it was like top 15-ish. I don't know that. Yeah, this is what I said, though. We just need a clutch gene, and that's what we have this year, clearly. So hopefully we can keep continuing that for the rest of the season. On the trail, though, not very many new updates. We picked up three new commits. Two of them are, oh yeah, two of them are gems. We're gonna lose a couple of these kids. Kind of expected a five-star gem, which sucks, but I mean, I knew it was gonna happen man some of these schools finally decided to recruit some of these players but it's definitely gonna be the best class of the video by far it's gonna be a top 10 class man time is now though for our first big 10 title of the video i'm so looking forward to this i don't think we played michigan in the regular season did we i do not really call but we're undefeated so let's just keep that going par for the course baby we're already down in their territory we're just doing what we've done all season long all right del be smart with the football circo I mean, it's up to me. Triangle. What the heck was that route? Okay, we just got karate chop. That was a very weird situation. I guess we'll sell for a field goal. Not exactly what I was hoping for right there, but that whole situation was just very weird. I, I don't know what just happened. Still got a three-point lead, though, in the third quarter. I think we just run it right here. Yeah, I'm scared to pass. I'm going to throw an interception or offensive line. It's going to get bent over, so let's just, yeah, run the rock. Come on, fight. Oh, come on, man. Don't make this harder than it has to be. That's what she said. I'm going to quarterback blast this bad boy to the right side. Come on, get to the outside, man. He took off right there. I like that acceleration there, Dell. Oh, yeah, let's go. We're up 14. I was kind of scared about this game, but I shouldn't have been, bro. Oh, my goodness gracious. What? Okay, are we, okay, there we go. I don't know what we're doing right there. Number three, like, just fake picked it up or something. I don't know what that was. That was kind of bizarre. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're Big Ten chops. Boy, they're up, baby. Let's go. Choo-choo train. I like Thomas. Let's go. Yes, sir, Coach Twinkie. Who's surprised by this, man? Coach Twinkie getting his flowers. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go. Hostess is going to be reaching out to. They're going to make, like, a partnership with him and Twinkie. Da, what? He wins player of the year. Okay. And he wins the Heisman. I uh, am confused on so many levels. Okay, Dell. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Obviously, it's good for us, but that doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. Okay. Maybe it's like seniority or something like that. They don't want to be ageism -ist. I feel like that's the only reasoning for this. I really don't know. He wins the best quarterback, too. Yeah, that is not what I expected. Those stats are not best quarterback Heisman worthy. Enrique, though, wins best defensive back. This is what happens when you have the best team in the country. You always get cool awards and stuff like that. Did not expect to see a Heisman though but ew no come on man we're gonna have to play michigan again aren't we yeah we are this is lame bro come on playoff committee people oh dude this sucks all right well we beat him once just gotta beat him again and this one is not going as easily as the last one 
Unfortunate. All right. Um, so I get up a triangle. Oh, yeah. Yak again in the end zone. That was a horrible throw from our Heisman Trophy winner. Who cares? He breaks a tackle. And he, oh, he's so close. Tried running it back to back plays with Colton. Has not worked. Our offensive line, they don't like him or something. I don't know. Hopefully, they like Dell. Come on. Here we go. Let's go, dude. Finally, making some positive progress. Our defense. I don't know what it is. They got they got Michigan figured out, man, or something. Step up, Dell. Do something, Colt, or get sacked. Shoot. All right. Well, we can still make it a two possession game. I just got to make sure I don't shank this kick, which is always a possibility with me, but that should go in perfect all right up 10 in the fourth quarter please don't choke this man oh yeah we got this one in the bag i was definitely concerned early on because we were down seven to nothing but <laughs> oh man we silenced my doubt um what do i do x i'm just gonna throw it that's okay. that was stupid oh my gosh all right, well, that's fine we're gonna win anyway now we got nc state the wolf pack they actually took down tcu which as you guys know is typically a pretty good team in the sim i mean i use their playbook in all my videos so they gotta be somewhat all right way better start the last game already in enemy land all right we gotta make sure that we capture the flag here x oh triangle oh yeah baby girl oh dang it i should have yacked it and i got blown up on back-to-back -back plays with my running back dude i gotta try and run this in with dell this always seems to work oh it's not gonna oh dude he is so like that acceleration boost whoo man here we go baby i'm feeling good all right just a touchdown should be ggs i don't see how they could a circle oh god the offensive line i don't know how we're undefeated with this offensive line man that along with the creation of the nutty buddy bar are two of the greatest accomplishments by man sir oh wait no x touchdown let's go yep catching it come on g g come on baby boiler up oh kangaroo tits no we gotta play georgia oh gosh all right well hey if we want to be the man we gotta beat the man simple as that aha bulldogs all right we're already down here i'm just gonna take this no matter what with our quarterback i don't want to pitch this i don't trust myself gosh dang it okay run it back this thing's working we have no other choice come out there we go perfect two times the charm oh my goodness dude it's a bloody spanking oh man yeah this is uh, not really close I, I don't really know how this is such a blowout right now, but I cannot complain. We're up 21 in the second. Dell is balling, man. Obviously, the coaching staff with Coach Twinkie and company got the boys ready for this one, that's for sure. X is wide open. Let's just play this smart. Nothing risky, nothing scary, just a bunch of checkdowns. At the very minimum, we need to make sure this is a 24-point lead. We cannot throw, like, a pick six or something. That would be absolutely disastrous. Touchdown, Colton! Oh, so close. Going right back to it right here. Come on, Colton! Come on, block for him. Block for him. Yep, in the end zone. Colton, come on, buddy! I need more fight than that! Dang it. Sorry, he's getting a chance for redemption right here. Come on, buddy. There we go. Just needed to fly a little bit. A little takeoff. Let's go, dude. Up 28. It's a crime scene, man. We're up 35. This is the best, what, 89 overall team I've ever had in a video. It's not even close. I'm not even doing much. It's just them being good. I don't know. I'm just running with Dell. <laughs> Let's go! This is what we call togetherness. You know, you got a lot of redshirt seniors at the top. They don't want to leave college football without getting a national championship, and they are going to be getting their dream today, man. I am just, I'm astonished by what this team accomplished. I thought it'd take me a couple more years to win a natty, but these kids said, screw you, Tana. We're doing it right now. Us and Coach Twinkie, we've got what we need to make a championship run, and man, were they right. But I, I don't really, it doesn't matter what I do, bro. Even if I throw a pick six, this game's clearly in the bag. Didn't really even need to do anything with this team, which is very, very relieving leaving so yeah this game's definitely over man 45 to 7 oh it's a massacre so there it is coach twinky the wheel spin national champs i don't know what you call us the team of randomness i guess you could say the wheel team i don't know wheel of fortune there's something clever with words but i'm not mark twain i'm not one of those dr seuss authors or anything like that i was horrible at english so i'm sure some clever newspapers gonna come up with some cool catchphrase but either way dude mission accomplished let's go coach twinky i wonder if it's gonna let me go back and time yeah it was 2029 when we started so it took us one two three four five six seven eight years that's not too bad man we kind of exploded after that nine and four season but once again i did not expect this to happen this season so coach twinkie i don't know what kind of magic we just captured with this team but it was an absolute blast man and if you enjoyed click the bell on the screen where i save the coach on the hottest seat in college football i think you'll love it